In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a presentation deck in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created four tabs in this particular uh, tutorial, Home, About Us, Growth and Location. When I click, it will give the details of each tab. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, the image in the background got changed and then you can see here this has been extended. The home has come down, the text, the icon here and then you can add some detailed text. So when I click, it will go back to its original position and then about us comes down and then you can add some details about us. Then the growth, the location and again if you want you just use the up arrow key and just go back. Alright, so you can see here location and then thank you. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the whole slide. You can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just fill this with any light color then go to insert shapes select one more rectangle and i'm going to make the rectangle size this much shape outline make it no outline make sure to align center align middle then in this particular uh, rectangle i'm going to add the image for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the picture or texture fill select the picture or texture fill the moment i click this one it gave me the image which i have used uh, previously so that's the reason it is coming otherwise it will come uh, with some different image okay so i'm going to change the image so i'm going to select the insert and you've got a uh, different uh, ways you can insert the image either you can insert from your local pc or stock images online or from the icon so i'm going to choose the online pictures and here I'm just going to type depending on the requirement the relevant image so for example I'm just going to say purple building I'm just giving some example you can see here I've got different uh, images here right so I have selected this particular image or I can just select this also the Marina Bay of Singapore let me just select instead of this and click insert And you can see here the image got inserted here all right and if you want to do some adjustments with the image you can just use these offset properties all right so once this is done then go to the next shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose this one which is the rectangle top corner rounded draw or rectangle something like this you can see here two small orange points the orange point at the top drag it outside so it becomes flat from the top and i would like to make it curve so i would like to just drag in the small orange point at the bottom you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give orange color here and i'm going to put it here something like this all right then go to the insert i'm going to insert some icons here again make sure that the icons should be relevant to your subject do not use any irrelevant icons okay so in this example i'm just going to choose this icon or i would like to choose the icon which is maybe uh this one all right so let me just untick the first one all right and click insert and the icon got inserted let me just move the icon here at the top and then height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 and graphic fill i'm going to make it as white and make sure it is properly aligned in the center all right and then go to the insert text box i'm going to type for example goal all right you can just give any text of your choice and make sure it is bold if you want I'll let it be no bold okay so now i'm going to replicate this i'm going to add three or four depending on the requirement okay so goal and then hold the control shift key just drag this towards the right and release the control shift key again hold the control shift key drag it with the help of a mouse we can see here 
and then one more time so four times four times i'm going to make it okay so then the goal i'll just say that about us all right uh, i just say clients and and i'm just talking about location or our offices or whatever so you can see here i've added four uh, different options and then i can just go and change the icon here instead of uh, uh, deleting the icon what you can do is select the icon go to the graphic format change graphics i'm going to choose from icon and then just to choose the relevant icon for example about us is all about the the people so i'm just going to type people here and i'm going to choose this one and click insert so you can see here with the same size and the same color this is inserted again of the about client i'm just going to talk about again the people so i'm going to take multiple people maybe example all right so i would like to say take uh, could be this one and click insert we can see here and then the location i'm going to change this to a kind of a pin or something like that so let me just search what i will get so maybe i can use this one also and click insert and you can see here i have got my icons inserted the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to duplicate this one so right mouse click and select the duplicate so you can see a duplicate uh, slide has been added here at the bottom so select the second slide or the duplicated slide which i've just added then i'm going to select this particular object or the shape go to the shape format and uh, you can see the height is 1.71 so i'm going to just increase it to maybe 2.5 and bring this down all right and then select the goal make this bold as well increase the size if you want you can make it white and bring it at the top here it looks something like this and then this particular image i'm going to change so select the image click insert again depending on the requirement where the images are stored you can choose that particular option so i'm going to choose the online pictures and here i'm just going to uh, download uh, some normal for example let me just see if i get some good images on objectives or goals or whatever so let me just select this image and click insert so that particular image will be inserted here it's taking some time and make sure that you have active internet connection otherwise it will not work so this is my goal example i've just added this particular image here then you can just add some detailed text here so for the example for my tutorial i'm just going to say equals l o r e m within brackets one and this in text i've added here i'm going to hold the control shift key i'm going to add more text here but text is not visible so i can insert one rectangle here all right at the bottom shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and i'm going to make the transparency to maybe 60 percent and then send back this one so you can see here the text is visible again if you want less transparency you can make it 50 percent also all right so the text is more visible here all right so this is my second slide so now the second slide what i'm going to do is select the second slide go to the transitions and i'm going to select morph here and then the morph duration i'm going to make it only one second so let me just play now the slideshow so you can see here this is goal about us clients and locations and when i click you can see here the image got changed and it looks something like this all right so now it's very easy for me i'm going to select the second slide right mouse click and duplicate the slide so now here i have to bring back the same position for this particular and then i want to increase this one so this increase i'm going to make the same which one which is 2.5 so i'm going to make it as 2.5 this one and this is 1.71 so let me just bring it back to the original position 1.71 and then this one this text i'm going to select align just select the top so it comes to the top and this one make sure it is not bold and the color i'm going to choose is black and this and this okay i can just select this one hold the shift key i can select this one again 
graphic format align and bring it top so that equal spacing is there or the the alignment is there so this one i'm going to bring this down now because we are talking about us now and this make sure it is bold and it is white color and bring this down all right and again if you want you can just give some different colorings as well here if you feel that these colors are pretty plain you can just give some different color also here you can see here different different color combination you can choose all right so i can just give some other color combinations so which are color combination you, which you are prefer you can just give that color combinations here all right so now here the image i'm going to change click insert again online pictures i'm going to talk about for example about us and i'm just going to search for some relevant image so if there's no relevant image i can just go and search some different uh, image as well here so let me just select this image i don't know what image is this so just click insert and that particular image will be inserted here it's you can see here and again if you want to adjust this one you can help with the help of this offset bottom and top and right you can insert that one and this one i would like to change the direction instead of like this it should come at the top and this text will come here all right and this text also will come here all right so now if you see here let me just play the first slide when i click it comes the goal and when i click you can see here that has come something like this you can see it works something like this all right so now if you want to create the third and the fourth slide the same thing you have to do right mouse click again duplicate the slide bring back this to original position which is 1.71 this one increase the size to 2.5 all right and then this one and this one bring it aligned at the top and make sure that this is not bold and black color and this one and this one again align top and this should go down all right so you can see here this is down and then this one i'm going to make it white bold and make it white and bring it at the bottom and then just change the image the way i have explained you here all right again if you want to add some title also you can just go to insert text box i'm going to save a presentation deck all right so let me just make it white color center align make it bold if you want to increase the size increase the size and put it like this here okay this is your title and this title just copy this one control c come to the second slide control v and bring it down below the slide area all right so now let me just play when i click you can see here it comes something like this all right so you can add any multiple more uh, slides as well depending on the requirement